Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint the sides of the Emperor's Space Marine chapter badge. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page are linked below. Now onto the video. This is the finished sides of the Emperor miniature. You'll see the shoulder pad that we're going to be working on during this video. Coming up here with the two crossed sides. It's a lovely little symbol that. It really does stand out well, the yellow on the black. The first colour is naturally going to be Avalon Sunset from Citadel. It's a great yellow for painting over any colour. It's got plenty of pigment and does the job really, really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an X on the shoulder pad. Now it's quite a tall X, narrower than it is tall. So you don't want 90 degrees between each of those lines. You want them sort of like, I don't know what the angles would be, but so the X is taller. It's not just a, a cross on its side. You don't want those angles inside. You want the two angles at the sides to be wider than the top and bottom angles of that. Then all you're going to do is paint a little, almost like a foot pointing inwards, as though it's pigeon-toed a little bit. You want to just paint those. You've got like one little nodule sticking out, and then you've got the actual kind of like a little thin bladey bit at the bottom. I'm just painting on there. So you've got the stick of the scythe, then you've got a little nodule, then that little bit that curls underneath there. The same for the top, it's not just the blade on the top of that diagonal. You've got the blade and then there's a few little details at the top there. There's a few little bulky bits where there's different layers and a little cutting as well on the blade. So if you do a sort of almost like an almost like a vertical on the left hand side of that right hand blade and do the top line first and then you can work in that kink doing the underside and then work out where all the little layers go after that so you just basically get the rough shape of the blade and then you can tweak that with the other little sections as we go along so you've got a little lump at the end of each diagonal line there then on the outer edge of each you've got that little kink in the blade the blade getting thinner if you do any wrong parts here it doesn't matter too much you can just use a tiny little bit of black to get that into the right shape in a moment so now we're going to use some citadel uriel yellow and this is just to highlight the side a little bit now if you've watched the actual video for the miniature itself you'll see this is the same kind of colour that I've used to highlight on the actual start to finish for the size of the Emperor chap. So I'm just going to highlight the bits that will be catching more light on the top edges of the emblem here and leave the rest as just Avalon Sunset. Now I'm not going to do all of the highlights because you could go on to Flash Gits Yellow and then Dawn Yellow if you wanted to. I'm just going to use that and leave it as Uriel Yellow as the top highlight. Now we're just going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Black and this is just going to be to tidy up the edges and get them so they are all smooth and neat. You can see here I'm using the black to just shape that top of the side there. It's got those little lumps and bumps, sort of different angles and kind of levels, I suppose, if it was a bit of scenery as opposed to just being the painted blade. You've got all those like slight little details on there, little lumps and bumps that you can just crisp up with a little bit of that black to get it looking nice and neat. With that, the chapter badge is done. I was very pleased with how this one turned out. I've got fond memories of the size of the Emperor. So happy with how that chapter badge came out too. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If the channel, you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.